Healing perspective of Manu Atep and students' satisfaction with training course. I would like to Dr. Mohsin Anjumansari, please continue the presentation. Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, thank you, the organizers, for giving opportunity to present the paper. Uh, I, this is a joint paper uh, of Dr. Mohsin Anjum Ansari along with uh, Professor Mushtaq Ahmad Patel. I am presenting today. Uh, we have made a quantitative study uh, related to assessing factors influencing student satisfaction in Mano ITEP courses. Am I audible? Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, this is the preliminary slide. I uh, just want to tell you what ITEP is. It is for uh, preparing teachers for foundational, preparatory, middle and uh, secondary school stages. Uh, we, in Manu, we have started uh, ITEP program 23-24 by Department of Education. But uh, as you know, uh, Department of Education is has started, but uh, training uh, subject-related uh, aspects are being covered at various departments like commerce, science, arts, etc. Uh, evaluation of this uh, program will help us to understand the teaching methods, assessment, and overall program. Primary objective is of this study is to examine the uh, satisfaction of students. Uh, investigators uh, have tried to identify strengths and potential areas. Uh, next uh, objectives, uh, these are the objectives to examine satisfaction of ITIP, ITIP students with regard uh, to teaching methods. Uh, second, with regard to assessment strategies. Third, uh, generic skills and learning experiences of ITEP students. The fourth is we want to identify challenges and areas of improvement of ITEP program and overall satisfaction we'd like to understand. Uh, the operational definitions of uh, four important terms of the study are ITEP is a four-year integrated program, dual degree. This is what we have mentioned. Student satisfaction is positive or negative feeling regarding the program. Training course uh, involves uh, skill, knowledge and attitude uh, development with regard to teachers training in uh, school education. Uh, Manu's ITEP program, when we are talking, we are talking about BSc B.Ed, B.A. B.Ed and B.Com B.Ed uh, students and their teaching. A methodology, uh, survey method, quantitative method is used. Tool, uh, Peter Figger has developed into a 2012. It's a, a five-point Likert scale uh, tool, which we have used for collection of data. The investigator, one of the investigator went to the classroom, distributed the Google form link and collected the, the data. And uh, statistically, we are using simple uh, percentage analysis method. Uh, the, these are the delimitations. The study is very limited. It is progressive study. A uh, lot of things are to be emerged. First component is uh, with regard to teaching. Uh, we asked them, my instructor had a thorough knowledge of the subject content. You can see here that around 80% are agreeing or strongly agreeing uh, that uh, a thorough knowledge of subject content is there with the teachers. Second, we asked, my instructor provided opportunities to ask questions. This also you can see around 80% uh, and more are agreeing or strongly agreeing. My, I have indicated uh, the strongly, uh, the dominant character in depth, uh, color depth is more, uh, then second dominant is lesser color in uh, the table. My instructor treated uh, me with uh, respect when we asked, uh, strongly agreeing uh, is having more percentage. Uh, this again is coming up to 80%, strongly agree and agree. My uh, instructor understand my learning needs, uh, that is also coming up to 80%. My instructors communicated with the subject content effectively. This is talking about both science, arts, commerce teachers. Uh, this is uh, also coming up to 72%. My instructor made the subject as interesting as possible is also around 70%. That means uh, uh, regarding teaching, uh, the students are very happy during their, uh, uh, the, during this study. The same thing is represented here graphically. You can see that strongly agree and agree, which are yellow and green color are more. 
I am skipping because of paucity of time. Then when uh, related to assessment, when, when we asked, I knew how I was going to be assessed. Uh, most of them are agreeing and some strongly agree. Then the uh, way I was assessed was fair to test my skills. Most of them are agree with some undecided positions, some strongly disagree because they are new students. Probably they are not at uh, conversant how uh, uh, they are going to be assessed. I was assessed at appropriate interval when we asked. Then most of them are either agreeing or strongly agreeing. Some of them are also, uh, it is found that they are disagreeing. I received useful feedback for, uh, on my assessment when we asked. Around 90% uh, of them are uh, saying that feedback was good. Uh, I, the assessment was good, uh, was a good test to, of what I was taught when we asked. Uh, more than 87% uh, are agreeing for this. Same thing is uh, represented here. Uh, strongly agree with the brown color and green color is agree. Most of the time you see uh, more than 50% it has crossed except one item. Then when we talked about, uh, asked them about generic skills, this is the last component in the category generic skills and learning ex experiences. My training developed my problem solving skill when we asked, then it says around 80% of them are agreeing, problem solving skills. My training helped me develop my ability to work uh, as a team. Uh, generally, teacher education programs develop teamwork, so they are also agreeing here. My training improved my skills in written communication, which is uh, essential for 21st uh, century. They are agreeing. My training helped me to develop the ability to plan my work. Uh, planning is also very much important for uh, teacher education. That also they are agreeing. As a result of tra my training, I feel more confident about tackling unfamiliar problems. Uh, that also you see 41% yeah, are agreeing, whereas 20%, uh, which is another major uh, area, are undecided. Uh, why it has happened, we are also contemplating it through qualitative method because uh, uh, this is partial uh, representation for the seminar purpose. Qualitative and quantitative uh, uh, assessment is going on. My training has made me more confident about the ability to learn. Most of them are agreeing for this. As a result of my training, I am more positive about achieving my goals and uh, this is uh, also agreed by more than 70%, 73%. My training has helped me think about new opportunities in life. And uh, yeah, this is uh, again all round development as proposed by Gandhiji and uh, we are, uh, our programs are helping. Uh, see these two, uh, uh, this one patches are more than 80% uh, also sometimes. The same uh, data is represented graphically. This is the final question. We asked them overall, I was satisfied with the quality of this training when we asked. Most of them, around 70% are agreeing or strongly agreeing with a second number score, just is, oh, it is only a score which I am representing here, strongly agree and uh, neither undecided position. But 70% of them are showing that they agree uh, for this. Major findings when we look at the, uh, look from the study, we find that program preference is skewed through uh, towards uh, BSc B.Ed. Respondents are more. Majority of them are female. Students overwhelmingly felt that their instructors were knowledgeable and respectful, fostering a positive learning environment. They are happy with the teachers. Mixed opinions were uh, received with regard to assessment related to work uh, works in ITEP uh, program. The respondents praised uh, assessment methods uh, used, but fair, fairness and timing received a mi mixed feedback. The training demonstrably, uh, demonstrably uh, improved problem solving, teamwork, communication, and planning skills. Confidence in telling, uh, tackling challenges and lifelong learning also increased, which indicates positive aspect. This enhances skill development and boosts confidence of students on inquiry regarding overall program satisfaction. Uh, it was observed that highly positive uh, feedback was found. 
uh, implications. The study uh, is useful in understanding the teaching satisfaction the, and later it can be improved. The findings of, uh, because this is ongoing program, they are uh, they have moved to second semester. Uh, this can be implied. The findings of the study are helpful to understand satisfaction of students with regard to assessment and improvement thereupon. The findings of the study are helpful to understand generic skills and learning experiences of ITA program. Uh, finally, uh, I conclude that uh, further studies have to be made involving other uh, delimitations, whatever we have kept, like we have limited this study to Manu, one batch, all those things uh, have to be uh, in, uh, increased. This is, these are the suggestions. We have, we have to go beyond Manu. Uh, progressive study has to be made. Other parameters have to be taken, taken care. Further high-level statistical technique, uh, techniques can also be adopted. Uh, this is all. Uh, I thank the chairperson for giving an opportunity and thank you participants for patiently hearing to me. Thank you. Thank you so much, sir. We have discussed all the crispy points and I think these findings will be the beneficial for policymakers and stakeholders.